going on? So, got Professor Smell Good coming to you guys live here at my shop. 700 Shane Lewis Lafayette inside of the Family Fair Marketplace. All right. On this glory. There we go. All right, cool. All right, so what we're going to be talking about today is the science, the science of the deals, the science of the deals. Why get the deals? When to get the deals? How to get the deals? Who you should give the give the deals to? Right? It's a science tool. All right, it's it's, it's a whole science to giving the deals. Okay. Uh, one thing most importantly that you want to keep in mind when it comes to giving the deals. When I think of deals, I think of dealing with my kids. Okay, where you know, like say for example. They act good, right? So you give them a treat, right? Or you let them play the game, right? Or you let them take them out somewhere, right? Take them to the park. But when they be bad, you actually put them on punishment, right? So therefore, when, and the kind of, you know, since they're on punishment, they have the urge to be better as it was before because the fact that they was actually not on punishment, they got too comfortable, but when they was on punishment, they thought about how good that they should be to actually get off punishment and go play again. They miss playing. All right, how's it going, sir? So the same concept when it comes to the deals. When you give people the deals, these bottles right here, I got them on sale for five dollars right here. I'm about to actually take them off pretty soon. All right, I normally sell them seven dollars. So when you give them the deals, it's pretty much like you know, thank you very much. But don't keep the deals on for too too long because what's going to happen is free salmon to the oil. How you going, man? Can I give you a free sample real quick? Who are you? So, uh, Seth, what about you? Yeah. So what happened? So what happened is when you actually uh, give them the deal, it's like thank you very much. But if you keep it on too long, six, seven, eight months, and when you change the price, they're going to try to negotiate the deal. As opposed to these five dollars, they're going to say, "Man, listen, give it to me for free." You were just selling them for too long for five dollars, so three dollars ain't going to hurt you. So what you do is you actually give them a deal, but at least a month, at least a month, okay? At least a month after a month, take it off. Take it off and go back to the regular price, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna actually go back to the regular price uh, pretty soon. Actually, uh, probably January. After January, I'm gonna go back to the regular price, all right? And sell these right here, $7, all right? So uh, that's what you do, man. You put the deal on, right? So what's gonna happen is, when you take it off the deal, and never tell them when you're going to do the deal because if you do, what's going to happen is they're going to say, you know what, I'm not going to purchase now. I'm going to just purchase when the deal comes on. So always announce the deal randomly, all right? Announce it, announce it that day. Don't give them a chance. So what's going to happen when they actually come in to purchase, they're going to say, oh, it's on sale. Boom, 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 boom. No matter of fact, let me get five of them right now. So therefore, you know, when you take it off, right, I got enough. You feel what I'm saying? It's kind of like the concept, the grass is green on the other side, you know? So that's what you do, man. You know, you put it on sale and then, you know, you do it randomly, allow them to actually purchase and, and, and take advantage of the deal right then and there, kind of like Black Friday. You feel what I'm saying? But when you take it off, go back to the regular price and it will, it will make them actually miss the deals, right? So you st you're, still gonna, you're still gonna get you're still gonna get sales regardless. If this is a good product, because a lot of people, what they do is, they say, you know what, man, I just can't survive without the deals. Well, it's because your product ain't good. If your product ain't good, then of course you're gonna think that way. But even if you know, I sell, I take these back to seven dollars. They was they was buying these when they were seven dollars, and they gave me no problem. You know, so you know that's my encouragement, man. You know, give the deals, but at the same time, only have the deals for a certain point, a certain time. But after you know the deal, after like a month or two. Take the deals off, go back to the regular price, and make them miss the deal. So when they come back, they're going to actually spend more now. It's, it's a psychological thing, all right? So you got Professor Smell, good, thank you. 